tired of losing people. If we don't deal with our mess, it deals with us. I had a mother and father that tried their best in a lot of ways, um, but we didn't grow up real stable. I think the longest I ever lived in one house was while I was on active duty. A lot of financial instability and just certain environments you get exposed to. A lot of, uh, not beatings from so much my family, but like bullying and getting roughed up and uh, just dealing with a lot of stuff. Some 20 some years later almost, I talked to a you know, therapist and he was like, yeah, you got PTSD. And I was like, I went to Iraq and all of that. I got mortar and shot at stuff, but nothing special, right? Uh, there's definitely far more war hero types, right? And uh, he said, nah, I'm not from the Marine Corps. It's from your childhood and the things we've explored together. It's crucially important that we prioritize our mental wellness, our self-care. And if we don't take care of ourselves, we could become those hurt people that hurt people. There's, there's so much misunderstandings, right? The clearance thing, the career things, if seeking help, if medication, if all those things were true, in fact, would be career enders, I wouldn't be sitting here talking to you. And there's a lot of us that are hurting, but we don't need to hurt by ourselves. Pain shared is pain divided. We can be there for each other and help each other through it. To not be disabled by it, to cope with it, to live through it, to be made stronger by it. And I think you can be. Some of, the, some of the strongest people I know, some of the most people I look up to the most, had some of the worst adverse experiences happen to them. But they kept moving forward. It's okay not to be okay, but it's not okay to stay that way.